Welcome back to going around the UK very slowly in a very small speedboat. just been doing some very important trailer maintenance this is a key aspect of Goodwin's support team so I bought the trailer new but um, for whatever reason the winch strap has already started breaking I've replaced nuts I'm replacing straps There's still a few rusty bits but um, definitely an improvement okay I'm just gonna update the software check online I need to look at the instructions and work out how to get the new compressed air cylinder in back into the life jacket. Right, new gas cylinder going on. Just goes on like that. It's like doing a soda stream. Constantina it up in like this. It's fine. The support team vehicle is very rusty. This holds the spare wheel on. It's gone very rusty. The spare wheel was gonna fall off, Chris. Very wobbly. <laughs> so we've got a new one of these. Just drop your glasses. I know, they don't stay on. There it comes. Broken. Right. And there it's broken as well. It's a completely knackered. Here's the new one. This one's uh, obviously second hand, but it's very solid. Not really any rust. There we are. Now look at that. <laughs> it's good not having it in the way. Yeah, it's going to have so much more room in the boot. Dark her against kidnapped for her two weeks holidays. He was going to be good. Hi, Charlie. Hey, mate. <laughs> Camping. We made it to the campsite. Very idyllic. We are the first people to ever stay in this campsite, apparently. It's a little farm in the middle of Wales. Got the logs. Got off. Fire for the evening. <laughs> well. This is a very idyllic piece of countryside. I found this on Airbnb, uh, it had no reviews, and it turns out we're the first people to stay here. <laughs> What's funny? There's no bed, there's no breakfast. <laughs> I thought that's what B&B stands for. Outstanding views. Are you quite scared about getting out on the sea tomorrow? No man, of course not. I'm excited. Well, we're an hour and 20 minutes from our departure point. Aberystwyth, here we come. It's still a bit damp, but I think it's probably right. It? So it was a lovely night in Wales and we're heading off to Aberystwyth. It's an hour that way uh, where we'll be heading out to sea. What a lovely morn. <laughs> to the sea. To the sea. No, we don't need to carry everything because the very nice farmers are coming in the quad. Morning! Hello! Hello. <laughs> this, is the, this is the most perfect camping spot. Yeah. I think it's not the flattest. I not know that. <laughs> There's not a lot of flat ground around you. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, no, it was really perfect. So oh, thank that's you. Good. Yeah. That's good. There goes the stuff. It's good uh, bag transport. Good boy, lie down. Good dog, oh, hello. 
It's quite a good duo, don't they? The quad and the and the boat. Yeah. Look at this. More gadgets? So many gadgets. Here we are, Charlie. All right, mate. Back on the bloody water. This is bloody it. Yeah, mate. Yeah, da. That Welsh. Yeah. Oh, it's a lovely day, though, isn't it? From what it was this morning. Yeah, it's a perfect day. Some ducks. We're starting in Aberystwyth, where we left off, and we're going to be continuing up towards Scotland. This is going to be a bit of a longer trip. We've got a week. We don't know how far we'll get. Maybe we'll get to Scotland. Maybe we won't. Joining me on this trip is uh, a familiar face. It's Charlie, you're back for more. Yes, mate. Are you a little bit excited? Of course, I'm always excited. I mean, maybe Scotland might be a bit, bit treacherous, mightn't it? Mm. If we go to the Outer Hebrides. Apparently there's rain coming this afternoon. Oh, hey, there is? Mm. That's okay, mate, bit of water. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go, mate. Thank you very much for the ride. I'll see you north of Liverpool. You the, um... Do you want to check that area and make sure it's tight? Right, jump on, Charlie. Yeah, we're good. Well here we are Harry. So we're back in Aberystwyth saying goodbye and heading up to the top of Wales now. It's not quite such good weather so I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive but I think it's going to be fine. All right we're coming out into the sea. This is where you're glad you wore the jumper. All right. to get into the, the nightmare the nightmare <laughs> it's like a frequency you have to tune into isn't it yeah of being like okay we're going blah, 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 blah. Yeah. we're working our way up the coast it's a little choppy but it's fine um, charlie's just getting his sea legs back we're just passing the town of Abadovi. Overcast, just going past Harlech Sands here. Why oh, stop it turning like that? Carrying along along to the Welly Peninsula, which is down that way. Hopefully it's a bit sunnier down there. In Creekieth, you've got Creekieth Castle, which is um, a very old 
um, castle built in 1250, something like that. It's been fought over a lot by the English and the Welsh. Obviously, we're in Wales, so the English then captured it, and then the Welsh captured it back and then set it on fire. And apparently, you can still see some of the scorch marks from 1300 or something. In 1400, it was used as a prison, and Turner, the artist, used this as a feature in many of his seascape paintings about shipwrecked mariners but it's a pretty nice castle we were nearly shipwrecked mariners weren't we a little while ago we were what are you eating ten to ten sweeney todd is it a pork pie hmm treacherous bit of water but um, it seems to be fine today. Technically we should be going around uh, just before high tide. I'm filming you as well. <laughs> no, 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 worry. You're getting filmed as well. For a minute. Around the edge of this peninsula and we're going to be heading up towards Anglesey. It's getting quite misty. around this side. But I mean, I think this is to be expected. These cliffs on this side are amazing. Look at that mist is crazy. Wouldn't have missed it for the world. Got a big fishing boat coming up ahead. We've got him on the AIS here. That's him. He's doing 6.1 knots. That was called the Valent. He gave us a lovely wave, didn't he? Yeah, very friendly sailor man. It's the evening run. <coughs> Nearly there. Nearly there. It's getting a bit choppier, but um, we've made the foolish decision to carry on to Anglesey, which is a lovely little island. Well, it's quite a big island. Do you think you've made the right decision? I don't know. Where are we going? Anglesey. Round, round Britain. <laughs> This is um, Anglesey here. It's like sort of part of Wales, but it's sort of like its own place as well. Is it an island? It's an island, yeah, technically it's an island, yeah. Tell Wales me that. is just over here. Ireland is just over there. England is um, over there. Should we put the tent up? Let's do it. You got sandwiches? No sandwiches, no. Anglesey. Goodwin is anchored off. We need to get that tent up. <laughs> Little evening stroll. 
stroll. I mean, it's quite spectacular, isn't it? Should we go along the beach? So this is called Innis Landwin. It's a tidal island off Anglesey, which is itself a big island just off Wales. Hey look, because it is... Dylan and Anna. Hmm. You know them? So this is a really rather lovely spot. It's got two old lighthouses. Look at that. It's really beautiful. Hmm. It's obviously a good refuge for um, sailing boats and sunsets. This is home to the church that was the church for the patron saint of lovers. <laughs> <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah. Um, good, because this is gold. Um, wind's getting up a bit, but hopefully tomorrow it's going to be very calm and we're going to whisk our way towards Liverpool and beyond. Also, tomorrow we have to deal with the Menai Straits, which is the very narrow little... Um, the menu what? The Menai Straits, Charlie. It's the very narrow little strip that takes us through in between Anglesey and Wales. Guiding lights. Snowdon. That's bloody Mount Snowdon over there. Really? Yeah. Over there, it's blooming Mount Snowdon. What is Mount Snowdon? It's probably the highest mountain in Wales. Is it? Probably. Yes. We've been gunning our way along past these mountains. Little did we know it was only the biggest celebrity in Wales in the mountain area. Yeah. Over there you can see the Menai Straits. That's where we're going tomorrow. Should we go and cook the halloumi the menu now? what? <laughs> I mean, it's a perfect day for it. How long have you been up here? Uh, about an hour. Whereabouts you you come from? Uh, West Midlands. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh, a long yeah. way. Yeah. Is this your professional or your hobby? Or uh, you? My son's and I'm right. sort of semi-professional. But how far you come? Are you local? Uh, no, well, we're doing a YouTube video going on a tiny boat around the UK. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to go yeah, yeah down yeah, yeah, yeah through. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad? Everything I've seen, it's uh, it can be a bit tasty, can't it? There's lots of eddies and what have you. So. Yeah, whirlpools and things are like basically. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks, I mean, it looks tasty. It's more when you when you round the pillars. Are you going up to Scotland? And yeah, that's the plan. Really? I mean, who knows how far we'll get? It's yeah, like... excellent. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you very yeah. much. What's for tea, Charlie? We've got curry chickpeas in. Um... Eight plan tortillas. Morning, Charlie. Morning, Harry. That's a good win. Morning dip. Morning dip. Morning dip. Morning dip. Dippy. It's time for the morning dip. Oh, you're just going straight in. Oh, beautiful. Come with me. Help to see. Oh, that's good, Charlie. There she is. All present and correct. So look, that's what happens when you go through the sand when we it's ran aground. It's like sand blasting. Sand blasting, exactly. Oh, Just yeah. doing a bit of a boat inspection. Gonna look at our fiberglassing on the bow. On the bow. Look at that, it's all fine, Charlie. We went through some like fairly choppy bangy bits. Really did, yeah. It's all holding up really well. That's great. Oh, this is lovely though, isn't it? Look, we've got the mountains there, it's crazy. Yeah. Right. Ooh, I could stay here for hours in here. 
closer here. I'm going to put them in. This is very nice, just some morning coffee. What's your um, vessel's name? Shearwater. Shearwater? Shearwater, yeah. It's, this is not built 1932. 1932? Uh, 90, 90 years old. Wow. Yeah. You know, yeah, milk would be great for me. It's, this is an excellent service. <laughs> Thank you very Cheers. much. Cheers. <laughs> We're going to stop in at Blackpool to go on a ride, Charlie, aren't we? I want to go on the road coaster. <laughs> the, the is Hopefully we might get to Scotland by the end of the week. You did uh, Scotland in two legs. Did you? Yeah. I mean, how quickly can you get up to Scotland? Because this goes quite fast. But it's like the tortoise and the hare. Because you guys presumably could go to sleep and keep yeah. going. Yeah. You do? Well, we, we've had to. I've yeah. done, we've both had. I've, I just set an egg timer. Do you right. to 15 minutes of sleep? Oh, that's amazing. Have a, look, have a look out for ships. What's the peninsula? There's like a bit of sticky out, big bit of rock. Great Orm. We thought we might try and camp on that. Right. <laughs> but watch out, watch out for the goats. Okay, there's yeah. goats on there, yeah. are there? Uh, that's good. They'll, they'll eat your washing. And, uh, <laughs> and like, you know, well, thank you very much. Good to meet you. Very good to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you Harry. Yeah, happy sailing. Leaving the comfort of a spacious boat. It's amazing your your um, rudder is really old school. It certainly is. Yeah. Cheerio. Bye. 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 Oh well, that was very nice. What nice people. They've given us a lovely coffee <laughs> and. Um, yeah, it was very unexpected. We're running a bit late to get the tide to go through the Menai Strait. So we're now gunning it to try and get there in time for high tide. It's notoriously a slightly tricky stretch of water. The tide runs at a nine knots apparently. This is Carnarvon Castle. It's a massive 12th century castle. Um, looks heavily fortified with a lot of walls and there's a pub called the Anglesey. We've got to get through on the tide. If we had more time, this would be a great place to stop. There's quite a lot of it left for an old castle, isn't yeah. there? Look, the castle wall carries all the way down here. Look, I love it. following the harbour master here and um, it's quite good because he's telling everybody coming the other way that it's a five knot speed limit and please slow down so um, we can't overtake him there's some nice houses along this maybe one day we get enough YouTube views we can buy a house along here because there are some whoppers and you perfectly have good wind parked out the front Surfing on the Harbour Master's wave. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Man.
This is, so we're going under Menai Bridge. This is the treacherous bit. Look at that, Charlie. Size of that uh, thing. Velocity. So where are we? Uh, this is Menai Bridge, named after the bridge which is just... Uh, we just came under? Yeah, we came under, yeah. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's a nice place. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to watch you. I went to the bridge. I was following Oh, the no, really? Did you actually looking all, down? It was always one step behind. So, so actually, it was updating, but we were a bit late where we were yeah. on our position. <laughs> so by the time I got there, it was like, oh, you're all <laughs> <laughs> So look at this, we're going to the petrol station. Grant's giving a list a lift. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I assume this will be cut. This is not. <laughs> so what kind of petrol station are we going for? It's a shell. It's a shell. Quality. Me shell. <laughs> that's that's on the videos, so that's how it goes. Charlie normally chimes in with the, the funnies. The Beatles. In the olden days, before 18 20 something, there were no bridges, so that they had to wait for low tide to take the cows over because wow. Angus is very fertile um, agricultural land. That's amazing. So what, the low tide you can actually walk across? Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, but it is possible. Right. Even a cow can do it. It started as an encampment for uh, drovers. It's a bloody boat it, causing the problem. Causing a problem. <laughs> um, People with boats. So Anglesey's an island, technically it's, it's, it's not island. a tidal island, it's a proper island. Proper island, separates by the Menai Straits. It's um, named by the Vikings. Is it? Yeah, it's known as the Mother of Wales because of its uh, very high agricultural uh, output. Right. It used to have a nuclear power station, closed now. Oh yes, what was it called? Wilva. Right, I think I've seen that, yeah. Oh, but look at this as well, what's coming up? I mean, that's 137. Fill your boots, Charlie. Look at that, two men eating chips. Well, thanks, Grind. You're welcome. If you get stranded on the Great Orm, mm. it's not too far, I can come and rescue you. Oh, well, that's very kind. <laughs> if needs be. And beyond there, though, you're on your own. <laughs> okay, yeah. You're not going to Blackpool. <laughs> Great journey. Good yeah. to see you again. Yeah. What a guy. Charlie, now we're on our own. Are you a bit nervous? Not really. No. I don't, I don't really understand what's wrong. But it's just a, it's a bit windy. Mm. We're just getting the boat sorted for um, choppy conditions. We've spoken to a few people and they've all said that out there things could get a bit rough. And we're going to be heading to Great Orm, which is a big rock about 10 miles that way. But um, we're just going to go and take it easy and wait for the tide to slow down a bit. Great engine. Wow, bit of a beast. Okay. 630 AD. Right. It's locked.
Lovely cup of tea. <laughs> Yeah. Right, it's a bit choppy. Time for a Snickers. We've, we've made it out from Anglesey and we're heading to Great Orm. Quite oh, a God. Rolly, though, isn't it? It's very, yeah, it's very choppy. in behind this giant rock, Great Orm. Yeah, baby. Let's have a look. You made it to Great Orm. Yeah, Great Orm. What's it famous for? Um, Grant was telling us, wasn't he, last night? Goats. This is very nice, so we're gonna try and anchor here and then see if we can find somewhere to camp up by the firing range um, little huts over there. Anchoring is when you um, put like a metal hook off your boat. And it's... I don't really know what it does. <laughs> Right, we're going ashore, um, but we've just got to check out that we can actually paddle the dinghy into the wind. Try paddling now. Again, right. try and get yourself forward. Yeah, you're going to be fine. I think the thing is, I've, I'm pretty, pretty um, strong. <laughs> I know. Okay. Right, paddling to shore. I've got the emergency swimming shorts on. Keep your eye out for any tricky rocks. You just you just take it easy. Welcome to Great Orm, Charlie. Orm. Oh, so this is not sand. This is just rocks. I found the steps, Charlie. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be the owners aren't here. I can't see. Which one do you want, Charlie? <laughs> look, it's actually pretty nice in there, look. It's obviously some sort of interesting decoration they had during the war here. <laughs> look at that view. See Goodwin over there. Great Orm! Orm! Apparently, this giant rock a is goat. inhabited by goats, yes! Goats! I think these are the remains of like an old naval training base. So these are the old firing ranges. What are we having for uh, supper there, Harry? Okay, so the halloumi's on. Just uh, let that fry for a few minutes. We want it nice and golden brown, and then we're gonna be adding that in to our black bean sauce. Some people say the menu on board is a little, that could do with some variation, yes. Okay, keep moving that halloumi around. What you'll notice, once it starts to brown, it's gonna brown quickly. And if you overcook it, it will be rubbery. 
Mm, there you go. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Who's that? Um, um, who is the look, dude that used to Michael, do skate? Down here, down here. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That, what was that his name? Floyd. Floyd, yeah, yeah. <sighs> he used to just get so uh, drunk, lovely. didn't he? Okay, look, Michael, down here, down here. Okay, look, now come on, look at the halloumi. Oh, we're getting some brownie happening. Look, Charlie, right in the horizon. Yeah. In the cloud up there. Yeah. Snowden. Ah. Could be an ounce Snowden up there. Okay, the black bean sauce is ready. A few bucks, yeah. Really, you got some bass. I yeah. saw, I saw you catching something. You live on YouTube, yeah. Trip around the UK. Yeah. Oh yeah. Have you been watching? I've seen a couple of you. <laughs> can I have? Can we have a look at your fish? Yeah, of course. Come on, let's have a look. What? So did you see the boat and go? Oh, that looks like that ridiculously That's small exactly boat. What I said. <laughs> yeah. No one would. Look! Look at that! Wow! Look at that! That's a whopper. Let's go, Lee. Very Good nice. The table. Wow. Well, congratulations. Yeah, thanks for that. We're hopefully going to go up to Blackpool then Barrow Furnace tomorrow. Right, yeah. So, um, yeah. Fair play to you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good to meet you. Right, take it easy. All right, bedtime. Night, Charlie. <laughs> Night, mate. <laughs> Night, mate. Oh, sleep tight. Everything's covered in grease. Right, early morning. Morning, very early. Like a pig's tail, mate. Twirly. <laughs> I complete your joke. There's Goodwin. It's very early, but we're doing the early morning run to Blackpool. <sighs> Sun's coming up. This is a 6 a.m. paddle out. Yeah, filming and paddling. Right, here she is. Black bow Oh, just like the big one? Yeah. Just unscrew it. Yeah. Does it eventually pop up? Yeah. Right. There's the anchor. Do you want to just wipe off the lens a bit? Yeah. A lobster pot there. Right, it's half six in the morning. This is the early morning run. We haven't even had breakfast. What? Goodbye, Great Orm. Next stop, Blackpool via looking at Liverpool, maybe. This is where we see the perfect camping spot around here then. We are, oh God, we should have gone there. Goodbye to Great Orm, and um, that's Lam Dudno in there. Heading into the gloom, Harry. So it looks like it might be a bit rainy over there. the wind farms and um, getting a little bit nervous because I've been watching the telltale where uh, water comes out of the um, cooling passages in the engine and it's the, it's the little jet of water that lets you know that everything's working with the impeller to cool the engine down and it's been getting slower and slower when, when I replaced the impeller it was really high pressure but it's been getting slower and slower but it could be one of the things that got melted was um, the little nozzle at the end of the jet and I just drilled it but maybe I didn't drill it that smooth and it's actually just got salted up. That should be a high pressure jet there. Let's see if I... So it's, it's definitely a bit slow. This little blue one. 
runs down here around. I mean, I might as well stick a poker thing up it while we got it all the way up. Is that the technical um, name for the tool? Oh, Leatherman's gone a bit rusty, Charlie. Fixed it. I just stuffed the pointy thing up the plastic nozzle and now the water is gushing out. It's perfectly high pressure. How much of a relief is that? It's gushing out the tree. Excellent, let's go. I'm gonna celebrate with some Italian sausage. With sand in. <laughs> Just going through this anchorage right out of the sea, which is probably where the boats wait to go into uh, Liverpool Harbour. Just stop for a quick fuel tank changeover. We're out in the middle of the sea, um, we're 11 miles from Blackpool. We wanted to go into Liverpool, which is just over there, but unfortunately. It's too tricky with the tides and getting the timing right. Over there we can see the oil rigs, which um, is a kind of flavour of things to come. It's quite, it feels a bit more industrial out here. Seven miles from Blackpool, it's getting a bit choppy, so I'm bringing out the pickled onions. Charlie, would you like a pickled onion? Oh yeah, man. Got the garners. Thank you very much. If you trim down, it'll bring the bow up a bit and it'll stop that. Yeah, might be. Alright. I hate it's a spot, Charlie, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Actually, very good. Actually, very good. I think you could just pretty much beach it in there, couldn't you? Come with me. So you could trim up all the way now. I want to see the boat. Right, what do you want to do first, Charlie? Breakfast time? Oh yes, get some breakfast, mate. You can't do the big roller coaster. You can do. Well, there's the wheel down there. The big wheel. What about that helter? Jeez. Look, there's a helter skelter on the. Helter skelter. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, we can't go on the big rides because it's fully booked. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of a really nice beach. Yeah. I kind of always imagined it was like brown. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. Sort of, I guess you think of other sort of like those classic English seaside places have been quite pebbly, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at all the rock here. A bit later. Let's get the Blackpool rock out. Does it say Blackpool? Oh, look, Mum! It says Blackpool. Wow, yeah. oh, pretty good. <laughs> yeah. 
Ming tea. Coral. Let's go in. Hey, look. Wow. <laughs> This is absolutely amazing. Look at these. Strawberry for me, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Do you want one now? Yeah, can I have? Yes, please. Can we have two of those actually? Have to be careful with that. Thank you very there much. You were not being towed by a jet ski just a minute ago, were you? No, hopefully not. I was going to say I saw some out just just offshore out there going that way. Oh, uh, really? A little boat. <laughs> hopefully that's not us. <laughs> Bye. Okay. All right. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. You get on the front there. Oh, is this correct? Yeah. It's a usual position. Okay, Charlie, or? This looks good on the camera. It's a long way. Right. <laughs> All right, Blackpool's pretty full on, so we're just sunbathing. Before we head off the Baron Furnace.
little choppy out here, we're just passing Morecambe Bay. You can imagine it, with the cockle picking. Apparently it's a very nice place. Seven miles ahead is Barrow and Furnace. Industrial buildings over there, it looks like maybe a power station or something. We're leaving land behind and just heading out to sea for a bit. Right, we're just tying up Goodwin here on the mooring. Um, hopefully it'll be here tomorrow. Jake's giving us a lift back in this. It's got 25 two-stroke. It's from what, 1970s? Engines, early 2000s, 2004 ish And the boat is 1970s? Yeah, about 78, smart, from Whitcourt. Wow, Kings and did Bridge. you do it up yourself? With me old man, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Not too bad. It goes pretty quick. Yeah. Here we go. Thanks very much, Jake. Well, that was quick, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly beats the inflatable tender. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. There we go, payment to the delivery. Cheers. Cheers. You're going to drop off 10 litres of fuel. I am. <laughs> thank you very much out there. Thanks, Jack. That is very no kind of you. No problem at all. And what's your name? He's called Dougie. Dougie. Thanks, Dougie. Well, we'll use it wisely. I'm from so, Glasgow. You're from Glasgow. Oh. But we're pretty near Scotland now, aren't we? Eh, uh, I don't know. I mean, <sighs> this is an island life, Charlie. <laughs> uh, barman, could I, could I have a pint of... Um... Welcome to the ship in. This is the pub on Peel Island. And they're letting me charge my batteries down here. Mm. Have you seen this um, museum? Mm. We were going to try and camp in the castle, weren't we? Right. Is that a good plan? If you want. Is it haunted? Mm, no. But Scotland did invade it in the 1300s a couple of times. Did they? Yeah. How, so what, is there, how many people are on the island? You've about 12 there and then there's like four of us or eight. Yeah. Right. Over. Baron Furnace is where they build the submarines. There's a submarine oh, right. hall. Is that really? Yeah, that's where they build the tridents. Wow. It's very interesting what you're doing. Right. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I didn't know anything about, about it until you came up and then <laughs> Jack came over and he said, do you know who these people are, Paul? I said, no. <laughs> he's like, oh, they're just going around England. Very interesting. <laughs> we noticed the radar straight away and someone said, actually said, <laughs> what does he think he's doing going around England? And that's someone saw something like that and we were all looking in and we were like, okay, that is a very nice radar. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow morning, the water line will just be below it. Do you know what right. I mean? Right, yeah, yeah. Just below my boat, so that'll be on dry land on the sand. Perfect. What time are you setting off in the morning then? Well, maybe eight. We were thinking, yeah, so we can get into Whitehaven. That's with the right, tide. because it, someone was saying Jack was saying that yeah. we would be yeah, yeah. used to get in. So we should be all right. Hopefully, it won't be too choppy going up there. He's given us the route to, to get to Whitehaven, so. You're right? Yeah, and then maybe Scotland after that is go straight across, right? In the afternoon, unbelievable. <laughs> it's like when you say that, it, it looks sounds easy, but when I'm looking at that bottom thing, and <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Hurry on. <laughs> I know. Why have we done this to ourselves, Charlie? Yeah, man. <laughs> Good luck with the fishing. Yeah. Are you off fishing now, then? We're going now. Yeah, he's my mate, John. Excellent. John's got one of the cottages. He'll, oh, he'll, very nice. They send cottages. Wow, John's. so he's a proper islander. Yeah, he's a proper islander, John. Yeah. Wow. Must be a good camp spot down here, Charlie. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a proper castle. So it said on that thing that it was like the way of defending sea trade. So 
some very nice stone carving. Come with me. Welcome to my kingdom. Hey, those pesky kids come and get us. Intruders! <laughs> These kids are just pulling the rocks off the, uh, <laughs> the wall. Are you filling the walls apart? No. We're smashing the rocks. Right. Oh, put all of Look. Up there. No, no, no. Hello? What do you want? Is this your Monty Python? Yeah. Come, Brother Waller. To the Great Hall. Who would live in a house like this? David is over to you. <laughs> that, that's up there with your um, David Bellamy. Wow, look at these rooms over here. Look. To siege. To siege, my lord, the pirates are coming. The Scots are after us again. <laughs> Hi. There they are, those pesky kids. <laughs> Invaders <laughs> at the South Wing. So you want to um you want to marry the princess? No. What are your credentials? No. Definitely not. No. <laughs> Apparently in 1537 the uh Baroness Hello. Hold on, I'm doing my bit to camera. <laughs> oh, apparently in 1537 the um abbot of Furness was dissolved and the castle fell into the hands of Henry VIII, who let it fall into ruin and into the sea. But it didn't completely fall down because a lot of it's still here. Yeah, go on and I am. Right, here we go. Well, look, we're getting some good. Like... Look, looks pretty good. Looks a bit dark. What do you think? Oh, it looks good though, doesn't it? Yeah. Look how far it is. It looks like look. a bird flying in the air. It does. <sighs> right, bloody perfect, bloody camping spot. Do you think this castle's haunted, Charlie? Barrow in Furnace. Baron? Barrow in Furnace. Yeah. Are but we in Furnace? Just walking to the other end of the island. These are the houses on the island. Could you live in the, could you live in this house? Um I think, you know, if I had a wife. <laughs> <laughs> At low tide you can drive to the other side of the island. There's the castle, over there. The evening stroll, promenade, walk off, that burger. So Peel Island is very cut off. Um, when there's tides out, it's just big expanses of sand and quite bleak. Apparently it's not governed by any council, so it's its own little kind of world. And people just seem to, freedom exactly people just do what they want it seems very nice and everyone's very friendly and nice to us it seems like a very relaxed place where people just potter around in boats wandering the walls at night to bed gentlemen to bed England is conquered tomorrow we attempt to take on Scotland. 